Okay, we're now looking at the inside of the knee joint, the thigh bones on the top, shin bones on the bottom, the inner or medial meniscus cartilage is here. You see as we probe this, the meniscus rolls and uh, this indicates that this is a degenerative, degenerative tear. And not, and not suitable for, for repair. May I have the basket forceps, please? So I'm going to come in with the basket, and we'll start here toward the front, and we'll start tapering this back out to the edge. Okay, we got that trimmed out at the front. So then we'll be able to insert our shaver. And we'll start at the front and begin to trim this out. Swinging around, heading back to the back, using the open face of the shaver to resect the posterior fragment. That looks good there. Now we're going to address the front end once again, making sure it's stable and all the way up underneath. And we'll get the top portion. All right, that looks good and stable. So we've got that trimmed out back there now. We're going to map the thigh bone, straighten the leg out all the way, flexing it back. Smooth. We'll just slip on back behind the knee neutral. Pushing up from behind. That looks good. Rotating the scope centrally and withdrawing. See the posterior cruciate ligament coming on out. We see the anterior cruciate ligament right there. Now we're going to slide up. Hold it right there for a moment. I'm going to get the shaver in here. Get some of this cleared out. Get that cleared out there. Looks like there might be a little bit of ACL damage. Okay, now we're going to go on into the lateral compartment. And this is more or less a mirror image of the medial. Got some debris in here. We're going to insert the shaver to help irrigate this out. So the lateral meniscus looks good there. Extend the knee, please. Okay, flex it back slowly. We look back here and see the popliteal and its continuation below inferiorly here. That looks fine. So I'm just going to slip on back behind the knee. And look posteriorly and laterally. There's some debris back here which we're going to flush out. Okay, so that looks good. Rotating the scope centrally and withdrawing. We again see the ACL. The next step is to look at the kneecap from above. 
So we're looking at the kneecap now from above. Going to slide on over into the lateral gutter. Going to evacuate any debris, a little bit of synovitis here. We see the lateral meniscus, the tunnel for the popliteal tendon. We're back behind here, that looks fine. Swinging up the lateral femoral condyle. We're going to slide on over into the trochlear groove. And you can see some roughness right here. So I'm going to use the shaver. I'm going to clear this back out. Get this synovitis out of the way. And then smooth down the articular cartilage damage. So we can see we got that smoothed out. Now we're looking at the undersurface again right here. That's some roughness. Ouch. That looks good. All right, in order to access that rough area on the medial patella facet, I'm going to switch my water and flow to here. We'll pull the, that out, put the water in flow there, and then insert the the shaver in, in this area and then use the shaver to smooth down these jagged flaps of articular cartilage. So you can see what that looks like now that we've got that smoothed out. This is the kneecap once again from above, and this concludes the arthroscopic surgical procedure.